right, boys, we are back, and it's time for one of the biggest off-seasons GM Superman's ever had to deal with. That's right, we got to pretty much re-sign our whole team, figure out where we're going to deal Patrick Kane, what we can get back for him. Um, remember, we can pretty much get any player in the NHL right now, but the reason we're getting rid of Patrick Kane is because of the salary. So we can't just get back uh, Sidney Crosby or Alexander Ovechkin, because then we're getting back another 7 or $8 million contract. We can go out there, we can see if we can find someone who's a great player on a great contract. I'm not opposed to doing that because we have to get rid of Joe Thornton. I don't know if he's going to retire or not. If he doesn't, we have to get rid of Joe Thornton. We have to get rid of Patrick Kane. And we possibly have to get rid of Wayne Simmons, all right? So we have those three players to deal with, uh, the contract situation, and we have to get everyone else re-signed, all right? But it's not that bad of a situation because Stamkos and Hedman, the two guys that we really have to resign, they are restricted free agents, so we can still trade them. Um, I'm not saying that we're going to trade them, but if worse comes to worse, we can tender qualifying offer and trade them in the uh, free agency. We can definitely get uh, make sure that we resign all of our unrestricted free agents, which is the most important thing to do. Um, I want to make sure I don't let anyone just walk. Okay, that's just a waste. We want to get our uh, the best bang for our buck here. Okay. So here we go. Let's uh, let's simulate up to retirements. Let's see what the retirements are. I want to see if Big Joe retires. Uh, if he doesn't retire, I, I wouldn't imagine him to be too good overall anymore. Probably in the mid-80s now. Uh, let's go down here to Tampa Bay. All right, so yeah, we didn't have anyone retire, so Joe Thornton is still playing. Okay, goaltenders, all right. So he's probably 84, 83 overall, so we have to get rid of Joe Thornton, Patrick Kane, and uh, Wayne Simmons. So before we do this, uh, let's check out the awards for you guys. There you go. Back-to-back uh, -back years now, you're Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, baby, that's what I like to see. Uh, President's Trophy, Tampa Bay Lightning. Hell yeah. Uh, Clarence S. Campbell, uh, Columbus, Prince of Wales, Tampa Bay. Art Ross, Johnny T. Hart Memorial, Johnny T. Uh, James Norris, Johnny Pitkinen. Lady Bing, Daniel Sedin, Calder Memorial, Trent Lofthouse, baby. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Uh, Con Smythe, Johnny Bernier. Bernie Mac, baby. He's up there again. Two back-to-back -back Con Smythe trophies. Hell yeah. Vesna, uh, Lundqvist, William N. Jennings, Lundqvist, Bill Masterton, Boris Valabic, uh, Frank J. Selke, Jonathan Taze breaks up Datsuk. He must have retired. That's the only reason why. Uh, Ted Lindsay, John Tavares, Maurice Richard, Gino Melkin, and there you go, all right? All right, so let us figure out who we're going to be doing, um, who we're going to be scouting in the draft here because what was that first guy? Uh, he had a great uh, scouting uh, profile. He might have been a franchise player. What was it, uh, Little, I think it was? Let's check him out. Uh, Len Little, yes, all right. Doesn't say franchise, so maybe he's not a franchise. He looked pretty good, though. Um, we got him pretty much fully scouted. Look at the hand-eye offensive awareness and passing. They're all at the nines. Wow, that might be pretty good. And he's actually really a really fast player. Acceleration and speed are at nine as well. Um, I know that doesn't mean it's in the 90s. It could just be in the mid-80s or higher 80s. But still, I think I want to get this guy. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we get the first overall pick. Uh, let's see if we can maybe trade Joe Thornton and get the first overall pick and then comb the rest of the NHL and see if we can find another good player out there, all right? Because I think we'll be okay with the salary. Remember, we have a ton of restricted free agents. If I notice that we're not going to be able to sign everyone, I'll tender qualifying offers and make some trades in free agency. But I, I no doubt we'll be able to sign everyone. The only guys who are unrestricted free agents, I think, are, are uh, Bernie Mac, uh, Shattenkirk, and Dustin Brown. So everyone else we know we're going to get, okay? So... I think, uh, yeah, if we can find someone who's around four, four and a half million, all right, and trade Simmons for him, um, because Simmons' salary, I think we can handle it, but if he's getting that much, I wouldn't mind trading him for another player who's really good, okay? So that's what we're going to go for, the first overall pick and another great player out there. We don't need any defenders. We don't need any goaltenders. We just need those. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think if we need anyone else here. Ah, well, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be a long uh, few videos here of this offseason. we got a crazy offseason, all right? So the first overall pick is the Edmonton Oilers, all right? So we could use Patrick Kane here to maybe get the first overall pick and someone else back or just try to get the first overall pick with uh, Joe Thornton and look around the NHL for other players. So let's see who we could get on uh, Edmonton here. So first we get the first overall pick. Let's see if they have any other young guns. Hang on a sec. Uh, Falkenham. 
Uh, he's kind of low potential. No, he's nothing really special. Uh, we have plenty of players like that now. He has to be outstanding. Uh, Wade Webb. Uh, Wade Webb is pretty good. Two-way defender, A-, minus, B, B-. minus. All right, not bad. Not bad. I remember that. Uh, Siwak, 22 years old. Verplas, 22 years old. Uh, not bad. Um, well, let's check out what their main guys are. We know uh, the, the three the three horsemen, I guess. Taylor Hall, Nugent Hopkins, and Everly. So Taylor Hall's got a pretty good contract. $4 million at seven years. I mean, we could definitely afford that. He's got a pretty good... That wouldn't be bad to try and get with Patrick Kane. Uh, because Wayne Simmons' contract is four, year, four mil as well. I wouldn't mind getting a... Uh, ooh, Taylor Hall. All right, well, we'll come back to that. Uh, Jordan Everly, he's the same thing, but he's only got four years left. The only thing I really like about Taylor Hall is seven years left at 4.3. That's really good for him. Uh, Gagne, Nugent Hopkins, he's only got one year left, so he's going to want a lot this year. Um... Interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. Okay, so hang on a sec. So we know Edmonton has the first overall pick. We'll, we'll come back to that, okay? Because I, I don't know. If I do want to get Taylor Hall, then I'm going to use the Kane uh, in that in that trade for the first overall and Patrick, uh, not Patrick Kane. Well, yeah, Patrick Kane for Taylor Hall in the first overall pick. All right, but let's see if there's anyone else in the NHL that we could go after who would be a great steal. Uh, I don't want to get any young guns. like that. That's what I mean. Taylor Hall would be perfect kind of thing. I don't want. I don't mind getting an older guy if he has got a good contract, like Jeff Carter. Seven years left at five point two. It's too much. Anze Kopitar, one year left. He's gonna want a, a new contract. It's gonna be too much. All right. Uh, Danny Heatley. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do a quick check here, boys. I'm only looking at forwards here. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I want a specific player, a sniper or an amazing uh, playmaker here. Nail Yakupov might be good. Hey, he's got another contract coming up this year. I could probably, but if he only wants one year with like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want Nail Yakupov. Someone more established. Radulov, he's only got one year left. Now nah, I'm going to say no to Radulov. Uh, New Jersey. Uh, Parise, he's got full trade value. Can't get him. Kovalchuk, he's 33 years old. He's kind of getting up there. No, nah, it's too much. No, nah, nobody there. So, like, I'm just comparing them all right now to Taylor Hall because Taylor Hall was outstanding, all right? So if no one catches my eye who's better than Taylor Hall, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to look at it twice. Uh, Oposo, four. Nah, I can get someone better. Uh, Stepan, Dubinsky. No, I don't need anyone on there. Uh, McKinnon. Ooh, Nathan McKinnon, the other player who is in the loft house. Because we could get him with Patrick Kane. A minus A, and he's already a stud. What's his contract like? Three years left. When he's 23, he's going to want a fat contract. Nah, I'd rather Taylor Hall over that right now. Yeah, I'd still rather Taylor Hall over that. No, I'm going to say no to Nathan McKinnon. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, no to Philadelphia. Yeah, it still looks like Taylor Hall is still the best. Taylor Hall might be coming down to Tampa Bay to play alongside of Steven Stamkos. Uh, ooh, send, send the kid. 8.3 for 4 mil. The only thing is his trade value is just as much. I would have to give up Patrick Kane and a little bit of something else. Um, and 8.3 is a lot of salary. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's good for Sidney Crosby. Four years at 8.3 is a steal for Sid, but uh, it's too much for us. Okay. So I'm going to say no to that. Jordan Stahl, four years at 5.7 is not bad, but we can get Taylor Hall for seven at 4.7. So yeah, that's Taylor Hall is still the best bet here, boys. Uh, Logan Couture, not bad. Not long enough though. Only three years. I'd rather take McKinnon for that. Uh, Stewart, same thing, not, lo not long enough. Uh, Toronto, Kessel, no, that's, uh, no, definitely not. Uh, Vancouver, Sedins, no, they're too old now. Uh, Schroeder, not, not good enough. It's still Taylor Hall. Ovechkin, no way, I can't, I can't afford Ovechkin. Uh, Semin, Baxter, he's got six years left, but it's at 6.7. Still Taylor Hall, man. Evander Kane, that's not bad for Evander, but, uh, Taylor Hall was seven years I think he was a bit cheaper, though, with Vander Kane. Let's see. Yeah, Vander Kane was pretty nice, though. Jesus. I still got, I get three more years, though, with uh, Taylor Hall. Yeah, it's still Taylor Hall. Because uh, those guys are the guys who are definitely going to want, like, 12 mil afterwards. A sniper? That's what I'm expecting with Stamkos upcoming here. Uh, forwards for, no, no. Man, it looks like it's going to be Taylor Hall for sure. Tyler, ooh, Tyler Sagan, 4.5 for seven years.